Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Reverse Aliens. Today we are at a bomb disposal mission in Germany uh, for Operation First Gaze and as you can see we are on the highway bridge. Now bomb disposal missions by themselves are pretty bad but I feel this mission is, is going to be particularly bad because we are at a threshold where the armor I have for my troops is simply not enough to protect them anymore. I'm actually getting carapace uh, finished in roughly, I don't know, five more days and I have a mech shoot being finished in two days so this mission is probably ha occur on the worst possible time I could have if it was two days later I could have mechs who could take a lot of the beatings and basically not really care so that would be that would be so useful but instead I'm stuck with just normal soldiers which not saying they're bad but it's a little bit too squishy of my liking because I'm expecting to find uh, mutons here uh, mostly mutons and floaters um, we've actually had another council mission this month already, Gangplank, so that pretty much shows us the future of what kind of aliens to expect in these council missions for the month. So that's going to be pretty nasty. Um, other than that, it's, it's the bomb disposal mission, we have to move fast, we have to, we can't afford to just stop because the moment we stop, what's going to happen is we run out of time. And if you run out of time, well, it's game over. And I, this mission is happening in Germany, which already has something like 95% panic, which pretty much means if I lose this, Germany is a goner. Well, if I lose it, Germany is a goner anyway, but if I don't win this, I just seriously need to win this. I need to keep Europe in the game. It's quite important. Um, so, let's introduce the team before I move on. We have Newbin, the officer gunner here. Zhang, the assault. Inertia, the engineer. Brerang, the infantry. Necromaya, the sniper. DG Fisher, the um, rocketeer. Um, Tongfa, the medic and George Moy the scout. Um, so, what's my plan? My plan's pretty simple. I just move up, try to avoid having to move up further than I have to, and trigger the mutant pots one at a time and kill them off one at a time. That might be difficult because, like I said, I have to keep moving up. I can't afford to stay still because if I stay still, I'm going to lose due to time. Uh, since it's a bomb disposal mission, I don't have time. Time is not on my side. So I have to keep moving and try to just use overwhelming firepower to finish them off as quickly as possible. I brought four alien grenades on inertia here and I'm not exactly certain but I think a single alien grenade of sapper should be enough to blow up a car. Um, don't quote me on that and I guess I'll be testing that out today as well. But if that's the case, a single alien grenade can pretty much kill off a muton who's standing next to a car because the damage of an alien grenade plus the damage of the explosion from a car should kill the muton. Um, Okay, I guess enough talking, let's move up. So, George Moy, you'll be first. Please move up to here and check a bow scanner out there. Oh. Oh, maybe I won't check a bow scanner out there. Because we already have contact. Okay, they haven't actually triggered, so I can actually get a free shot here. Or, alternatively, I can uh, see everyone up on Overwatch. Um, I don't have a Rocketeer ready here. And they're so far back, but if I can eliminate them right now, that'll be quite good. I can, oh, I can, I should be able to eliminate one of them at least, if nothing else. So let's actually just let's trigger them. So let's shoot one, and move everyone else accordingly. Okay, not a crit. That's all right. One, two, and one behind the truck. The wounded ones behind the truck. So what I'm thinking is I can probably move you up to here. And hello, are you trying to hide from me? Oh, that's bad. That's naughty of you. Yes, that's what happens when you try to hide. Um, okay, so we have first contact, and this is part of two mutons. We've killed one already. Uh, there's still two of them, and they look pretty big. They look pretty mean. Let's see if I can get a shot on from here. Okay, I didn't think I would. Um. I think I can move up to here, disable the bomb node, and see how far I can chuck the grenade. And I'll probably use a smoke grenade to end this turn. Okay, let's see if I can kill for the second muton. Yes, I know Shen. Thanks. Uh, so again, like I said, let's see if we can kill off this muton straight away. If we can, that'd be pretty helpful. Well, it blew up the car in one shot like I thought, but I didn't kill the muton. He's on one health. How annoying. He is not cooperating. Okay, I can run a gun up to here, which will flank this mutant and freak him out. But if I, if I flank him, I'm, I won't be able to use a flank next turn. 
So instead, what we could do is maybe run to this high cover, but that also be a flank. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Uh, what won't mind happening is that we are moving up. That'd be quite handy. And I also need someone to take a few hits if possible, and that'd be Zhang because he has so much health. In fact, I possibly should have brought extra medkits instead of this extra flashbang because it's quite likely I get range to use flashbangs on this mission. I should have uh, brought extra medkits because there's a good chance people get wounded, especially Zhang here. Uh, how many did I bring? I brought one on you and I brought one on you. Okay, I had three medkits in total, so I better be careful not to use them all. Um, yeah. Okay, Zhang. If I move up to here, I can also trigger on the left here, so I need to be very careful. If I run up to here, the problem is I want to be able to use that flank next turn because he's so such an easy flankable position. The problem is I lose not not have enough cover to put everyone in here. And I need a medic somewhere. The medic kind of standing in the open. Okay, so what if I put a medic here? And I put what I'm thinking is smoke these three up. Uh, the snipers can be seen. Uh, I think that does, it might have just be tough. I can't kind of do much about that. So, it's, okay, mostly smoke the, you two, you three up because you guys are in half cover. Especially the engineer. So that should. I'm just trying to make sure because smoke has. I could try to get a scout. Yeah, I could actually try to get a scout like this. Let's try this. I double check to see if they actually are smoked, but. Okay, scout's not smoked. Um, that's more or less expected, but you are smoked. You, you're not smoked. Okay, that's very annoying. So instead, I have to hunker you, because there's no way I'm risking you uh, in half cover like that. Um, and I would very much like to put run his sword up here, just so he can tank a hit. I mean, he is not bad either. It's not a pl places for me to be and. I can't take this. Actually, why can't I take this cover? Oh, because he can. Just, can he actually flank me? He can't actually flank me from here. If I move up to here, this muton can't actually flank me without standing in the open. So, what if I move to here? If I move to here, the muton should be. Because he has to basically move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no way he can flank me. So, I think this actually might be safe. And I can put several people here as well. The smoke was really mostly for uh, inertia here because inertia is stuck in half cover like that. Um, okay, DG Fisher. I'm curious, what's your hit chance on this guy? Forty-six. Mm, that's a little bit too much. Too much of a risk. I mean, not on flashbang, which is a bit of a shame. I would very much like to flashbang them, but I can't. I guess. The interesting thing is, yeah, okay. I was about to say, interesting is why is this not a flank? It's because it's out of range. Okay. So, lack of cover aside, um, let's see what happens. Okay, you are retreating. So, I can't use that flank anyway. Blood core? Oh boy. Okay, you're using that position now. Overwatch. Okay. That was a pretty tame turn for the aliens. So. That's good, I guess. Okay, now I have to continue moving up. And that basically means I have to deal with further contact straight up ahead. Uh, first of all, how do I kill this muton? Well, the easiest way is probably move a scout here and flank him and get shot on him. So, line reflexes, just through smoke as well, I think. And she's not through smoke. No, it does through smoke. Okay. Okay, I have a flank on him, but, but I might not actually take it. Instead, I might throw a bounce cannon out to see how safe it is to run this sold up. So, instead of uh, running gunning yet, I might do this. Boot on the left. Boot on the left. Oops, I forgot to activate the node. Oopsies. Um, what can I do about a back muton? You can see him. Okay, that's actually a good thing that you can see him. And I can pos probably run and gun all the way up to here and won't activate that group. In fact, I can probably run and gun up to here and won't activate that back group. Because they're so far back and there's trucks blocking out of sight. Uh, or here. I mean, the range is probably enough. I'm ready to go. 
Um, before I do that, let's see what other options I have. I have a rocket, but that's not going to do much. That car cannot be destroyed any further than it really has been. Um, so not much point trying to even do that. Um, Scuttery has done made his move, um, and Scout can only see you, which means I have to maybe suppress him. Can I suppress? I should be able to suppress him from this position here because, um, well, because my assault could see him see him from this position. So if I move the move you up to here, I can suppress him. Excellent. Um, okay, that's good. So he suppressed. Should be, which means this mutant just have to kill him somehow. Let's move the rocket here up and I'd be very wary not to activate the Muton group on the left of my uh, next few moves. I could run you up. I could run you, run you up to here. Is there a way I can kill this Muton on the left without having to use the assault running gun? Inertia, can you do it? Good. Okay, so so then I then I have to use the running gun. That's excellent, and I could actually run up to here now, which is pretty good. Just to be wary, this actually is revealing new territory. Good, didn't actually didn't actually trigger anything, which means DJ Fisher can run up to here. Okay, and you can suppress this mutant, keep him slightly more docile, and basically my social a uh, perfect distance for next turn to move up and just uh, close encounters him. That's good. Uh, Necromite can run up. Because it would be quite handy to have a sniper close enough to actually do stuff next turn. And Brarang can... Uh, I need Brarang to basically be close enough as well, but what kind of move to that's actually safe? There's really not much cover here, is there? So both of you are going to have a run up basically. So let's move you up to here. And let's move you up to here. Be it's safe here because the Muton, he's suppressed, he shouldn't move to my left. And as long as he stays in that position, he can't see them. Which is why these positions aren't actually flanked, whereas these ones are. So you can move up to here. Okay. Next turn I can grab this node and the back node there. Oh boy. Okay, good. And just Whoa, what the hell? Um, hi mutons. That's not playing fair. <laughs> um, I have no idea what just happened. But hey, I got two free shots off. That's cool. I guess. What the hell just happened? Uh, okay. Okay. I think... Oh, is there another pod there? No, I don't think there is another pod there. Still, that was just... Strange business. Okay, so you're gonna deactivate this. Move up to here. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I can at least shoot you once. But I might have to retreat you. Okay, so I might have to retreat you. Um, you can should be reliably kill him. Now, what do I do about these guys over here? Okay, you can move up to there. Those mills are way too far back, so I should be able to move up to here. And have him in the back. Okay, let's shoot you over here. A little more damage would be nice. So, inertia. Please give me a little more damage. It's not quite what I was asking for. DG Fisher might be able to finish him off. Or I can actually fire a rocket at those guys in the back. It's only two floaters and a huge muton. That's a lot of hit points. Okay. Uh, what I'm thinking is, you can finish him off. One health. One health. I'm running out of firepower here. Okay, 72%. It's. Uh, no, don't want to consider pistol. 
What am I thinking? No, pistols won't work. Come on, guys. Okay, I think the assault's gonna have a run. Okay, I have four people left. I have to kill these two somehow. Um. Um, those floats can actually move up and flank me. Because floats, they can just fly over everything else and see everything. Okay, I'm thinking over here. Okay, uh, before I move up, the mutant on the back, where can he possibly move up to? One, two, three, f okay, the only cover he can really move up to is maybe here. Which should be flanked. So he can't move up to there. So he can move up to here, really. This is the only realistic cover he can take. So how far can he shoot from there? Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So really only up to the truck here. That's pretty much as far as you can shoot. So I'm thinking that I can move you here. Um, don't give me more misses, good. Um, the problem here with you is that that floater can just move up and flank you. In fact, you can actually see that floater. Who can you see? Just this muton. And I have a scare laser. Okay, okay. So really, the only person in the line of fire at the moment is DG Fisher. DG Fisher is the only per because Amiron can't move anywhere else. So he can possibly move up to here, in which case he can gain vision of Necromire. Which isn't either good either. Okay, I think you gotta finish this muton off, so... Because no one else can do a job right now, so please finish him off. Good job. That was a bit scary, but... Good job nonetheless. And I think I'll put you here in full vision of the aliens. Because you have the armor to tank it, no one, nobody else does. So, over here. Or at least he will be in full vision. Uh, you can move up to here and you can hunker down. And I'm hoping this mutant will be scared off instead of trying to move up and flank DG Fisher. Because he has flanked himself by three people right now. Good, he is. Oh, he's very scared. He's so scared, he's standing in the open. Okay, we still have time. We still have time. Okay, you're sending it open as well. The problem right now is my sword has no ammo. I was hoping to be able to move up and shoot last turn, but clearly that's not a thing. Ooh, shoot our floaters. Wait, who can you flank? Oh no. Ow! <sighs> oh no, 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 not you, Nekromaya. This panic's gonna kill me. Okay, what can I do? What can I do? I can possibly get a flashbang on that back f muton. I think that's possible. I can also get. A f yep, I can get. Joel's Murray can do it. Joel's Murray can get a flashbang on the back muton. Um, so, what else can I do? There's a, mu there's a floater here, there's a floater here. I could get a rocket on them. I brought so many rockets, I haven't been using them yet. What can possibly go wrong with a rocket or bomb node? I think what. Um, um, okay, what can possibly go wrong? Can scatter backwards and hit the. If I, can I, this rocket won't actually be that helpful. All I do is anger the muton. That's not going to do much. Zhang, you're the person who needs to save the day, but you don't have ammo. Well, if I scare them, scare them. I can scare them with Zhang. I can, or I can move up with Zhang, and when they move, they get close encountered. Now that's a thing. Do I try to be able to flank me? I sh uh, but that's too risky of a move because floaters. Last time, last time a floater decided to completely ignore my close encounters and shoot me anyway. That, that was not particularly pleasant. Okay, I think Rosemo is going to have to move on flashbang that big mutant because I can't do anything about him. And possibly flash him all three of these guys while, while he's at it. So that's quite handy. Okay. 
Okay, so at least the big mule is mostly neutralized for now. Good. Good. Now I have to deal with everyone else. So, it's still, I don't think I'll be suppressing with you this turn. Instead, I need to give you some line of sight to be able to shoot those, shoot those floaters. Um, this really is quite tempting to just move you here. So I will do it. And if they move, I'll get free shots on them. Uh, Neobin, how can I get, possibly get line of sight here? Um, okay, I think something I can do is kill, kill you because you're standing in the open. But everyone else, what can they do? I can try to use grenades and a rocket. I can use grenades and a rocket. Grenades and rockets. So nobody can see this position. Okay, first of all, I need to make sure... Um, actually, before I do that... Can I possibly shred these floaters from here? Uh, not really, because the truck is in the way. And this rocket is not going to hit those floaters. Unless... The, yeah, there's no way in deck. Well, I could. You know what? This might be my best bet of cleaning those floaters off. Let's try it and. It shouldn't scare backwards. If it does, well, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, that was kind of helpful. Um, I'm thinking I can grenade them now. If I move up to here, I can get chuck a grenade on them and hopefully it'll kill them. In which case, Jank is moving and kill the two Mulans next turn. So let's do that. Let's move you here. You should be able to see the two floaters. Yep. And let's grenade them. I need to make sure those uh, floaters die more than anything else. Man, it sucks. My two best shooters both panicked this turn. That was really unfortunate. Well, we have one floater left. What do we have left? We have a gunner. We have a gunner who can actually move up here and just stand in the open and shoot him. Or we can use Tongfo for that. I think I'll use the gunner first. And I think I'll, I could probably move here and use the range bonus to my advantage. 97%. Okay, it leaves you to kill that last float, uh, last, um, last muton. If it misses, that muton. Well, I think he's too slow. The reason why he couldn't get to cover last turn is that he was just too slow due to red fog. So instead, I think let's play it safely and just... Oh, he can see you. That's unfortunate. If he couldn't see you, I could actually just smoke everyone up front. But because he can see you, that's half cover. So instead, what I might do is just hunker. Um, I'm just really hoping they don't move to a right here. Because then they'll see hopeless of exposed people. Yeah, okay, Muton's still easily flankable. What's your play, Muton? Okay, so you can shot at him in hunkin mode? Really? Okay. Whatever floats his boat. We need to get a move on again. So, let's move here. What I don't know is there's actually more aliens on this map. So, what I might do. Let's chuck uh, my last scanner out. Oh, that car's on fire. Oh, I need to kill that muton as well. Who can do that for me? You probably can. And I'm not going to take cover against that car. Let's move you up to here. Diagonal should be safe. 76%. Good. And what I'm going to do, and there's still just tiny, tiny build of map left, so there could still be a pod back there. There's only been three pods so far, so I won't be surprised if there's another pod. So let's move you up to here, and track a scanner out there. This is check. And there is another pod. I thought so. Okay, so what needs to happen is Brer Rang needs to... Oh god, look at that movement. Okay, Tongfa, please heal Brer Rang up. Why can't you heal Brer Rang up? Okay, now you can. I thought it was supposed to be two range um, straight. Diagonal is only one range, but I thought straight should be two range. Guess I'm wrong. Um, well, your Red Fox basically gone, so that's good. I was hoping to basically 
have Tongfa heal him and he can just run up himself or what? Clearly that didn't work out. Okay, everyone's need to get into position for next turn. Because we still have one more group on the map that we have to deal with. You don't often see me use grenades for pure damage, but that was a special case. Nobody should have got hurt from that. I'd be quite surprised if they did. Yep. See, like I said, I'm saying diagonal to a car so that I didn't get hurt. Um, I still have a little bit of time, so I'm not in a huge hurry here. And I'm pretty sure they're the last group on the map because the end of the map is right there. Um, and I think four groups of aliens is the standard for these uh, missions. Um, so let's actually see the objective vision range. They are standing on this line, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so this line here is pretty much as far as I can go, so I don't think I can take this full cover here without triggering them. Which is fine, but which is actually fine because I can instead. I can actually. Oh, no, not that part, I think, no. I was thinking if I can move around this way, I might be, I might be fine. Okay, grab this bomb node, reload you. Oh, you can't grab that next turn. Oh well, I got time. I've actually got plenty of time right now. Um, so if I remember, so okay, so basically that's the limit of their vision, which means it's pretty much just. I can probably take cover here if I move. If I try to be fancy about it, so if I move here. I should be able to move up with, to here, not here. Uh, do I how, do I play it safely? I should be safe if I move up to here. I was gonna be okay. And let me explain why I did that. One thing, he has close encounters. He's the assault, so if he can be closer, great. He can be much more useful. Second reason, if I stand here, what's going to happen is I'll peek out to the right here. So the aliens will see my see me when I do that. So, uh, so because of that, I'm that, that was a safe move. Um, same thing with you. Try to get as close as possible. Yep, exact same path as the assault. Newbin, same with you. Um, Brarang needs to get closer. Perhaps probably overwatch him. Necromaya can, can't get a shot from this position. That's expected. That is totally expected. What I can do is possibly move you up to here to get some high advantage. They should, they should still not see you though. Ah, oh, I think you can't see them from this position anymore. Wasn't well, that odd? Well, that's fine. That's yeah, perfectly fine. We'd be up to be in position to smoke them next turn. Uh, not the aliens, my people. Okay. Okay, aliens are confused. That's fine. Okay, how do I want to do this? I want to. They are basically behind that truck. I cannot grab that node. Which is expected. I do have to grab these nodes though. Or well, someone has to. So why I actually do want to trigger them soon rather than later. But okay, um what I think I'll do is move DG Fisher here, see if it triggers. Okay. It didn't trigger. Okay, it didn't trigger. Which means the scout can move up as well. Uh, before I do that, let's it's, okay, I think this is much more likely to trigger. I think I'll do is have the assault move up to here. Okay. Mostly still fine. It's a little bit annoying, but... It's... Actually pretty annoying. It's actually very annoying. Maybe I didn't think this through properly before I took that power node. Okay. What, okay. What are my options? What are my options? Wow. This guy has to be flanked. That cover cannot be destroyed. In fact, he's can't be, he has to be flanked from this side because this cover can't be destroyed either. 
these guys back here, he's behind a bomb, so he needs to be flanked. He's behind a car all the way in the back. Jeez, okay, I, I really don't think I thought that through properly. Um, okay, this is bad, this is bad. Um, so what I might do is move you here. I also need to be aware, watch out for as well, because this you know, can move up and grenade me. Okay, and also if I see a rocket here, it could be dangerous as well, because they'll shoot DG Fisher. Uh, what I probably want to do is actually put Zhang in position for it to be, to be shot at. This way, they're more likely to shoot at Zhang, but I also don't want him to die, because if he two hits, plasma rifle hits him, <coughs> he's pretty screwed. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, what to do? What to do? What to do? Okay, ideally they'll actually move up to me. So what I could do is encourage them to move up by either hunkering or hiding everyone. And I need to get in a position to grab my no next turn. So if I move you here. Sniper. Oh, you can take a shot. Oh, I can let you disable one of them. Does that change anything? Um, I can disable him. Uh, the problem is I can't do anything about the back one, so I don't think it helps at all. So instead, I'll just take a shot. Like this, like so. Some damage is good. Um, this position, can they flank me? Uh, let's have a look. He can move up. He's, what, is it one, two, three, f okay, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, no, he can't flank me, but this one might be able to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no, 9. This one could potentially flank me. Um, if he takes cover here. I think Jang should be safe. And th in fact, I think everyone here should be safe. But I don't, I don't want to be too much of a grenade target, so I will still hide people. And they shouldn't see inertia at all. But I'll hunger him just to be sure. And I don't think mules are crazy enough to stand in the open. But just in case they are, what I might do is move you back. I don't want to move engineer back though. He's got grenades. He needs to be up close. But still, just to be safe, I'll move you back here and hunker you. I think Zhang should be safe. So, hunker. Hunker. And this is encourage him to move up. And you can move up here, and also hunker. Okay, mutants, what's your play? Oh, did I just think about blood core? Oh no, Zhang! Oh no, please tell me the car is fine. Okay, the car is perfectly fine, and Zhang did not give a shit. That's my man. That's my man. In fact, that blast was centered around Zhang, which is perfect. Yeah, he just took three damage from that. He just not. He just doesn't care. Doesn't care at all. Okay, what can I do here? I can only shoot you. Um, oh, I would actually quite like to get a saber on that back one if possible. So let's try that. Oh, I can just shoot him. This a decent. No, uh, I can't crit him. Let's play it safe. I have time, so let's play it safely. Two damage. It's, it actually quite surprises me every single time I see um, Sable Shot do damage like that. Okay. Oh, come on. What's with these one health um, aliens all the time? I swear it's happening all the time these days. Okay, um, who can you see? You can see him. Where can I move to to uh, suppress the back one? That's what I'm thinking. I can possibly move here and suppress him. Okay. okay so as long as I don't flank him, he should be quite docile. Which means I can, I can safely kill you with pistol. <laughs> you 
Careful now, you'll bend out Zhang you're, you're shooting. I could actually blow up his car. I could blow up his car. Mm, this will be flanking him, I don't want to run. So, let's see, if I move up to here, how far is my grenade throw? Let's actually just get this Mutant over and done with. Oh, I can just flank him. How can I flank him safely? Oh, Radarang. Good. I mean, I could have run his Overwatch and stopped disabling, but hey, whatever, right? Whatever works. Now, I'm going to have to move out to here, and he's going to want to run now. Okay, no, he won't because I can't see him. Okay. That means I can move up to here, I should be safe. And he shouldn't be able to see me. Which means I can. Yep, that's what I thought. Which means DG Fisher can. Okay, basically, this is the last alien left, so I should actually start thinking about how I want to do the end game. Which is the Thin Man drop-ins. And I think what I'll do, instead of spreading everyone out, I'm basically gonna put everyone in decent positions around this part of the map. Any Thin Man that drops on that half of the map, I'll deal with later on. But any drop-in here, so I'll get killed straight away. And after that, we'll see. So basically, we're just getting a defense against that side of the map. So it's kinda like playing the map in reverse, depending on how many Thin Man drops over there. If you get my drift. Um, so this position is actually pretty decent. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is taking cover around here. One, two, uh, three. It's quite a lot of high cover positions. Um, and probably position a few people back here just in case I get drops back here as well. Here's another one, four. Um, so. Um, let's run you here. Okay. And let's actually run you all the way to here. He shouldn't see you. I'd be quite surprised if he can see you. Good. So he's terrified. Let's remove you here. He's suppressed, so he doesn't have the grenade range either. And Medic can run up. And it should be it. Why is he running? No, 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 no. Come back. Oh no. Oh no. Did you fish? Watch out. Wait, wait, what is that? What was that? Whoa, that car just blew up. That was a surprise. Okay, you, my friend? You're gonna die? Please, help me with that. Oh no, that's a pistol. Oh no, that was a pistol. Oh no, that was a pistol. <laughs> okay, that was the biggest mistake you can possibly make. Okay, oh no, this could be bad. Okay, it might be salvageable. Uh, DJ Fisher? <laughs> Took my big mistake there. Wow. I didn't notice he had a pistol equipped. That could have been pretty bad. Um, so the lesson from that is always check your weapon before firing, I guess. And that's all the power nodes. Okay, so time to set up some defensive positions. Uh, so what I probably want to do is have someone here, have someone here, have someone here, have that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, something like that sounds decent. Um, so I'll probably put Necromire here. I'll probably end up putting Brarang over here. And having basically support people at the back. That includes the assault. Uh, who's left? Inertia? Inertia can be at the back, so. Can probably hide here. That's probably a decent place. Just in case I get drop ins over here. Just full cover. No, it's half cover. Okay. Um, Neobin can also be at the front. Uh, Tomfuck can be at the back. I was preparing for the end game. Um, so you can stay here. Neobin can be over here, covering the left side. Braran can be here, covering the right side. Over here, covering the left side of this. 
Joe's boy can cover back here. I probably have the assault. No, actually, no. I can probably have the rocketeer. Um, take this position. The assault can be here. Nurse can be over here. And Tongfa can be over here. I got plenty of time to get. Make sure everybody's ready. Um. The assault could. Um. The assault could do with a medkit, to be honest, but I think he's too far away from anyone with a medkit. I mean, Brabrang has a medkit. Neoban's medkit. It's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit. Um. I don't know. Whatever. I think it should be fine. Okay. That bomb is going to reach full power any minute now. Excellent work, Strike One. Wipe out any remaining aliens and come on home. Okay, so now we enter the end game. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. New objective received. Thank you, Centro. So, Overwatch, 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 and Scalazer, Overwatch. So, bring it on. He's probably dead. Two, one, three, two, two. Three. Wow, they're all in my back line. Whoa, they're all in my back line. No, that's not cool. Okay, at least he's gonna be dead. Okay, so I can I visualize every single one of them. None of them drop on that side of the map, which is a little surprising because I kind of expected them to be slightly more chaotic like, than this. Now, for some reason, I can't actually shoot back into at him. Just strange. Why not? He's on the roof, isn't he? Okay, you can see him. Um, if you can see him. Okay, something weird's happening here. Okay, this is actually quite awkward because uh, all my good shooters are at the front here where, where they can't see anything. So what I might do is move Necromire. Um, let's have a look. Why can't I see him? You can see him. You can't see him. Is it because it can't be because of range because you have squad side. One, two. Th okay, let's double check something. How far can he shoot? He can shoot. Well, obviously you're not flanked, so you, he can't shoot to where you are. But he can shoot all the way up to here. That's very odd. Why can't I see you? Um. Okay, I'm just gonna move up to here. You shouldn't be able to see me because it's not flanked. Okay, now I can see you, but I can't fire at you because I can you see him. What's going on here? Um, okay, something... I don't get it. Something weird's going on. Okay, I can see you with inertia. But dearly, I won't take that, have to take that shot. And as much as I want to run these overwatches to get rid of them, this is a little bit too many overwatches for my liking. If I... Uh, if that was my infantry, I would trust it, but this is not all my infantry, I don't trust these shots. I'm thinking I just blow these two men up and just get it over and done with. I can run the last two overwatch my scout. Thank you. Okay, I have no idea what was happening there. That made absolutely no sense. Um so the scout. And who else do I have? Zhang. So I can run down with Zhang after I move the scout to um, gear of the Overwatch. So, scout, please help me out. Maybe one will hit. He should survive one hit. Okay, good. No hits. That was really awkward. I don't know what was happening with that truck to cab. Okay, good. 
it just leaves the last one. And I think Shang deserves this one. Because often he doesn't do much more of these bomb disposal missions. This time he was superstar, so I'll let him get the last kill. Okay, that actually ended up being much easier than I, than I was expecting. Still, it would be nice to have Max, and it would be nice to have Carapace Armor first, because my people are still, still a little bit too squishy for my liking. And this map, as you can see, wasn't, it wasn't as bad as the... Uh, well, it isn't that bad, because it's very linear. You can't, it's difficult to aggro multiple pods, and they always... They can't flank you, unless you let them, of course. Okay, Brer Rang. 36 days. That one flank. 36 days, Brer Rang. I need you, man. This. Ooh, okay. This is important. Um, so, let me go through each of these. Execution conditioning. Look at those stats. Look at that. That's amazing stats. Um, I mean, full aim. That's a lot of aim. But I'm not going to take it. I mean, more health is great, more aim is good, mobility is never a bad thing, but I'm not taking that. Bring him on. Um, up to plus 6 damage on crits. That can be pretty amazing, considering infantry can shoot twice. But, again, I'm not taking that. Last one, Sentinel. Uh, so basically, why am I going to take Sentinel? Because I already took Covering Fire, Opportunist, so to finish it off, I take Sentinel. I don't think that needs too much explaining. These two perks aren't bad, but... Sentinel just I pretty much have to take Sentinel because I've already gone down this route. And if I don't take Sentinel now, it's kind of making two of these perks not particularly useful. It's just sad, 36 days. I'm not seeing him for ages. Oh, and Tongfa. Uh, you are my second sergeant medic. And one who hasn't been critically wounded yet. Smoke and mirrors. 36 days. Jeez. And Zhang got lightly wounded from a grenade. But that's fine. I wasn't aware he... Oh, that's right. Because... No, he didn't get lightly wounded from a grenade. I took him while he was fatigued. Five days is a pretty good roll in that case. Let's continue. Uh, a little bit of mound. Some lot of corpses. Some money. And with this money... Are you sure, Shen? We haven't deployed our mechs yet. <laughs> I think he's just... He's dreaming of future instances of the mechs in combat. Um, so, I think I'll build one more shield of carapace. So there's what? One, two, three, four, five. So it'll be six. The sniper doesn't really need a shield of carapace. And until I get a seventh one, well, I, possibly a rocketeer will forgo the carapace as well. Still, that's pretty good. I could probably sell some stuff to make get another one. Oh, I also need more scopes. I also need more uh, alloy plating. So much things need money right now. It's so expensive. Um, well, I might just sell two five computers and. Um, what else can I say? I need a mouse, I can't sell it anymore. I'm getting to a point where I'm going to start need needing Illyrium. So I can't... So Why do I have so many floating corpses? Okay. I wasn't aware I had just many floating corpses uh, stocked up. So you know what I say about not having enough money? Let's grow 50 of these floating corpses. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, and then we want to have another scope. Come in handy. We want to get a smart gun kit soon, but not yet. And also, um, I want to get myself uh, what's the alloy plating? Yes, one more alloy plating. There we go. And next month, if okay, let's have a look at panic reduction. Okay, Germany is going to be fine. France might still leave though, unless I get really lucky and get another abduction in France, or any mission in France. I don't know. Still, 
I think what is, what's going to have, have to happen next month is what I'm going to do is do I have enough engineers for this? I have the engineers. Excellent. I have the engineers. I just need the money. Oh, it's like the next, next 40 engineers. How many engineers do I have now? 37. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I get enough engineers anyway. So, yep, I'm pretty excited. Nexus here next end, uh, next month. And I'm going to try to expand into Europe before the end of next month. Come on, France. Okay, there's a mech. Oh boy. An NOE one too. This will be a first one. Brad Rang has... I think this will be the first... Um, oh my god, I need Brad Rang. Brad Rang, stop being sick. I need you. Just. Okay, I'll have Brad Glomboy at least. Oh man, look at this. Some of my best, some of my best. Brad Rang, Zhang, Logo Pojo. Vixen Cross. Some of my best troops won't be available for this. Oh no. Okay, it's landed. Please tell me I just have chem grenades. Two days. Oh no, two days. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let me set up a team for this and I'll get back to you. Actually, no, before I do that. No, 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 just stop, stop, stop. Office promotions. Can I make anyone else a captain? No, I can't make Zenzo a captain. Can't make anyone else here a captain. Like, which gun does this take? Neuben. No, I can't make you a captain either. Damn it. That'll be so helpful right now. Okay, never mind that. I will set up a squad and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this will be a squad I'll be taking, and before I actually talk about the squad laid out, I'm gonna actually promote Aiden before I go on, because obviously taking her down before without promoting her is quite silly. So, um, she's a marauder, and she used and she was a hero of my last land medium, uh, which was only a few missions ago. It wasn't actually that long. So let's take the most important thing, the first perk, and here comes the, the decisions: aggression, ranger, body shield. Now, aggression is quite nice because it brings my crit chance up to nearly 100%. And against uh, open, exposed or flank targets, which is pretty good. I take down my assaults. Um, let's keep going, though. And of course, it helps against hardened targets as well because they're hardened. They have minus 60 crit chance. So, you know, it helps. Ranger, plus one damage. Yeah, okay. Body shield. Nearest enemy suffers minus 20 aim and cannot crit uh, critically hit his unit. Now, I'm not actually going to take aggression, I'm not going to take ranger, I'm going to take body shield. Why? Well, for a few reasons. One of them is the mobility. Plus one on mobility is helpful. Second is marauders don't get access to, uh, what's it called, resilience, meaning they can be crit. Now, they do have all mechs do have hardened, so the chance of critting them is generally pretty low. And it's pretty rare to see a mech crit, but it does happen. And body shield simply, because I can't get resilience, body shield simply helps a more beside tank here. What also helps is the plus one mobility. So, it's, so aggression's not bad, to be perfectly honest, but I think I'll take body shield instead for the mobility and for to make a more side tank here. So 40 mobility, that's good. Next we have Executioner, Close Combat Specialist, and Jepu Monju. Now I could take, now Executioner is kind of a very, it's not technically a bad perk, especially not all these stat bonuses, but I don't like it on him. On, I just don't like the perk in general, because unless you're going for into zone, even then, it's still questionable whether you want or not. Because, yeah, you don't need a crit chance if you're in the zoning. All you need is a plus 10 aim. Like I said, the only reason you probably take this is for the aim, for the aim bonuses. Um, next is, um, I'm going to talk about jet, bo jet boom module. Plus one ability is pretty good, and the ability to basically jump up because mechs cannot climb light ladders, so ability to actually join your squad on the roof is pretty handy. So that's pretty useful. And close combat specialist. Now this way you can do with a marauder, which I love. You can run them up, just don't give, don't, don't really care. You can flank a target and just sit there. What are you gonna do? 
They either move and get shot, or they shoot your mech and don't do much damage. So Mirage are quite nice for that. Or they just move up something and just, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, towards the end of my game, well basically, this is really going into mid game, and towards end game, most of my assaults will become mechs. And this is basically a assault skill, and someone needs to take this for Chrysalids, for Berserkers. So yeah, I'm going to take Combat Specialist. And I, mean, I know that's kind of like a rough explanation of why I'm taking it, but close, basically Close Combat Specialist comes in handy quite often, and having one on your team after I don't take assaults anymore will be very useful. So I'm taking this. Uh, next one is also pretty interesting. Uh, advanced Fire Control, Damage Control, Collateral Damage. Collateral Damage is not bad, but later on I'll be, t I'll be pairing my Marauder with Shogun's, who gives Collateral Damage as their first perk, so I don't really need this. Advanced Fire Control is not bad if you want to turn your Marauder into an uh, Overwatcher, especially since you, with Close Combat Specialist it's almost a guaranteed hit. So that's the that's advantage of taking this, but Damage Control. Basically, why do I take a Marauder along? Well, for the close quarters ability to tank it and damage. And this helps you tank a lot. I mean, this doesn't sound like much. Look at this. Reduced by 1 to 2 points. This basically incre increased my DR by 1.5. Doesn't sound like much, except when you think about it. If your brawl is getting shot at a lot, this will let you... Let's say each head does, let's say, on average, 6... Uh, let's say, 8 damage. This is, gives the aliens the benefit of the doubt. Let's say they take... Most shots will do 8 damage. Minus 1 DR from this, and minus 1.5 DR from this. That's 2.5. Now it went, just went down from 7 damage, from 8 damage, down to 7 damage, down to uh, six, uh, 5 to 6 damage. That's almost halving the damage. And that's not even counting other stuff like Shop Adorban Armor, and later on, and my sergeant, I'll be getting. Um, what's it called? Shock Adorban Armor, that one. Absorp absorption Fields. So once you get all of those added together, you, you get a pretty tanky mech. So what's going to happen is that your Marauder will take one shot, take a decent amount of chunk of damage, and then all other shots will be reduced by quite uh, significantly. And that was actually a pretty poor example. Let me try and give you a better example. Uh, let's say the 8 damage, okay? 8 damage reduced by 33% first. So now that's down to something like 6 damage. 6 damage reduced by 1, that's 5 damage reduced by this, that's 3 to 4 damage. That's basically half. If you reduce by another 33%, or up to 33%, that's it's done to like 2 to 4 damage. It's, it trivializes a lot of damage that your Marauder takes. So basically, Marauder is a tank. So damage control is this. I'm not going to try to play around it. Marauder is definitely going to be my tank. And there we have it. Um, there's no more perks I can't get yet. Once she gets promoted, well, we'll see. I'll explain as we, as we go. And that's it. All I have is a minigun, which is still not that bad. I mean, 6 to 10 damage. 6 to 10 damage. To give you a comparison, let's look at my battle rifle. 6 to 10 damage. That's more than my heavy laser rifle. So that's pretty good. 6 to 10 damage is pretty good. She hits very hard. Um, other than that, I am not taking engineer because I don't usually take engineers on UFOs because a lot of the terrain can't be destroyed easily. I do have alien grenades now, so it actually gives me good reason to take engineer, but I think I'll still um, forgo them anyway. Post it shouldn't bite me back in the ass. It might, but I think I'll be fine. And like I said before, engineers, I kind of phase them out in the mid game and turn them to shoguns. So this is part of the trend. Why am I taking a, an assault and a marauder though? Because assaults can do several things. One, assault can run a gun. And second, assaults get close encounters at sergeant level, whereas Max has to get all the way down to gunnery sergeant. That's two further ranks down. So, Sony can actually do more damage than Aiden can in close quarters. Of course, Aiden has a flamethrower, so... Aiden can still blow Sony out of water, but let's not talk about that. Oh, um, other than that, the squad's actually pretty much the same as the last time I went on a UFO mission. Although, before I actually continue, I'm going to do this. Aiden, you are now a mech. You shall wear a cool helmet. Because you're my first mech, and you you literally looked into the face of danger. You were so close to dying, and yet you survived. And I turned into a mech. So you get a you get the ghost helmet. So there we go. Um, I guess that's pretty much all I can say about this. So let's get down there.
to Japan for the next mission. We've tracked the UFO landing site to an isolated location in the countryside. We should move in and secure the site before the aliens have time to regroup. Operation Defiant Blade. You know, if I didn't know better, I would say the aliens are about to be very defiant. Let's hope our mech can, uh, can change things for the better for us. Defiant Blade. It's the exact same map as last time. Well, um, that'll be the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for uh, the second, or is this the third, Lander Medium of the month? Yeah. Until then, bye.